to be imprisoned by the U.S. military in Guantanamo Bay. The right. Mr. Speaker, uh, I believe the uh, member refers to Omar Qadar. Uh, Mr. Qadar, as we all know, has uh, been there for some years, since 2002. And in fact, Mr. Speaker, the government is following exactly the same policy established by his government in 2002. Oh. Mr. Speaker, we are elected. It's not like a monarchy. Monarchy is anti-democratic. Inaudible. This is ridiculous. Monarchy is ridiculous. Now, having said that, the representative of the Queen repeated that uh, the 400th anniversary celebrated France and Canada. Does the Prime Minister realize we're talking about the 400th anniversary of Quebec City and the Quebec Nation? Isn't it the Quebec Nation that we're celebrating and not a ridiculous monarchy? After a lot of hesitation, the bloc leader voted for the recognition of Quebec Nation within a united Canada. Now, Mr. Speaker, the bloc leader gives me an opportunity to remind the House that there are that 400 years ago in Quebec City, our country was born in France. The foundation of Quebec City is also the foundation of Canada. The Governor General is the successor of Samuel de Champlain, the first Governor of Canada. And Mr. Speaker, all Canadians celebrate that very important historic event. It's our common heritage. Twice, Mr. Speaker, twice, solemnly, Quebecers expressed their view on the future of the country. Quebec, Quebecers said yes to Canada. Yes, we do not want to stay isolated alone. The Bloc Québécois is a political party that has Dépassé it is the eternal leader of a political party that has no future in Canada. Late, the Minister of Health tabled the Consumer Product Safety Act that will increase fines for those who import or produce an unsafe good and will finally give the government the ability to force a recall of unsafe products. Can the Minister of Health update this House on its progress? Excellent. The Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to inform this House of uh, what, I, what I consider to be the height of irresponsibility by the opposition party. Last night, the, uh, the, the official opposition tabled a motion at Health Committee which uh, begins a several-week study on the supervised injection site in Vancouver, which means that all the important work that that committee has to do on the Consumer Product Safety Act is put in abeyance. What troubles me, Mr. Speaker, is this is the same band of individuals who said that we don't need any more research. Now they're, now they're tying up a committee with weeks more research. Mr. Speaker, our children, our mothers, our fathers, everybody needs better safety. They're preventing it from happening, Mr. Speaker. Same. Honorable Member for Kim employs one of its key architects, Mike Donison. So instead, every day we hear from Junior over there because as senior conservatives say, Thank you for complimenting me on my youthful energy, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> uh, as it currently stands and ruled, and I accept, fully accept her ruling, that there could be, that I could have an interest and should not have participated in that committee, and uh, I, I did so because the rulings came after the committee, and the lawsuit itself was only filed. I was only served well into this current fiscal year, a long time after the actions had been started by the member. Mr. Speaker, I, uh, I have yet to see this report, but I gather from the way the member has referred to it that he has been found uh, guilty of a conflict of interest. Yes, I did raise the issue at the committee. Uh, yes, I thought it was improper that uh, when the former Prime Minister of this country is suing him for a million dollars, he has no right to proceed in, those, in, in that committee. I believe that he was the lead uh, with respect to the Liberals uh, on that committee, and he had no business uh, asking questions, voting on motions. 
he had no business he had no business cross-examining the former prime minister in the committee and in fact he tainted the re the whole proceeding of that committee known as the Schreiber Mulroney proceeding. Hello.